YouTube. Hope everybody's doing well today. I just wanted to do a quick video, a little DIY, as simple as this may seem. Maybe it'll help somebody out, as it did help me. I thought I'd ruin this right out of the box, trying to put the net around the frame, and I think I caught it on one of these suction knobs and put a hole in it. Not gonna work. See, I got my safety gloves on for working with scissors. Yeah, safety first, that's what's important. I wanna cut your digits off. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't think we'll be needing those, even though we are doing work here, but. But yeah, like I said, uh, damage the net right out of the box, and maybe this has happened to someone before. But yeah, I kind of needed this to move a fish, and that's not gonna work. It's gonna get right out of there. But what I came up with is something that every hobbyist has, is air hose. Basically cut this to the length of your support post here. And if you roll, this net's usually got some slack in it. You know, they're, they're not super tight. But uh, you can roll that around to this support arm here and then cut a piece of air hose to size for that support arm and then I cut it in half because it is easier to cut with scissors but yeah you just more or less go right up the side cut that cut your other one there And then just make sure your holes kind of folded over on the support arm. And you usually got to flex this air hose a little bit. I think this is just the standard size clear. I like the clear because you can't see it. You know, it's really not that noticeable. You know, in the tank and on this on this breeder net. Yeah, you just kind of slide that over. A support arm there. Get your second piece. I guess you really don't need the second piece if, if your hole's more at the top or the bottom. You could probably get away with just one, but I just put two on there just to kind of make it uniform. Work with me. Yeah, that stuff's this new hose. Yeah, once you get it on there, it's really not that noticeable. The hole's gone. Good as new again. Yeah, I just wanted to share that with you. I know it is somewhat simple, but you know, like I said, I damaged this right out of the box. And I was in need of it and was pretty bummed and finding breeder nuts of this size and my local LFS stores is they're just not available. I had to get this online. If you're looking for one this size, they're on Amazon. I think it was about six, seven bucks free shipping. Can't beat it. Yeah, hopefully somebody can benefit from that. If you got one laying around, not able to use it, there's a quick fix, simple. Aquarium safe. And if I help one person, video was definitely worth making and sharing. Thanks everybody for tuning in. And I'm out of here. See ya.